Like, you cannot base your life or your features or your looks based on shit that you see on Instagram because a lot of that shit is fake. A lot of them bitches that had surgeries and had their body modified and you can't think that you realistically can look like that, like have a fucking five inch waist and a 40 inch ass, bitch. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up, Ash Mariah? Welcome back. I'm back with another video. Like I told y'all, I'm going to be consistent all 2020. But today, I actually want to record a different type of video now. I have never done a reaction video. So I just wanted to do a video today of me reacting to um, this video that I found on YouTube, Instagram versus reality so um you guys by the way this hair that i have in is from yolissa hair they sent me this i have a whole nother video that i'm going to do reviewing this hair if y'all are interested but anyway i want to be doing this reaction video make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel hit the notification button and follow me on my social media okay so let's get right into the video have you guys ever browsed Instagram and wondered why everyone looks so beautiful? Why does everyone have such a perfect life? Why is everyone having so much fun, has perfect skin, is always laughing and smiling? Why is my life so boring as I sit here in my underwear covered in breadcrumbs, sad and alone? Why? I'll tell you why. Because they're faking it. We need to understand collectively, nobody's that happy. We are all miserable. They're just so much better at faking it. And you know what they're doing? They're making all this feel even worse. That's why today I am proud to present to you one of the best subreddits in the game, Ooh. Instagram Reality, where they take a snippet from someone's Instagram or social media and mm -hmm. show you the actual reality behind the post. Ooh. Today, I guarantee you that you will be Ooh. feeling better, more confident. We need to embrace that and lift ourselves up in the knowledge yes, that we are all yes. well ugly pathetic monsters who just want to <laughs> eat mcdonald's every day so i don't like mcdonald's of people from coachella this year this is a dystopian future everybody's gone to this event but they're not really there to be at the event they're there to get pictures of them at the event worth noting though that this guy filming is on his phone as well but you know some things are worth capturing if you're an influencer that does not go to coachella do you actually exist this is a picture ah. from California Super Bloom in which there's like fields of massive amounts of golden poppies flowing. And these beautiful, wonderful Instagrammers have taken upon themselves to get these very beautiful photos. Unfortunately, once they get up, they have completely ravished oh, the wow. flowers on which Y'all, I feel like people yes, will go through the most flower field, to get a but picture. If she didn't take the photo, does it exist? Every time an Instagrammer tramples a field of flowers for a selfie, an, an angel actually loses its wings. I think this is the exact moment that God forsake us. Now, Bieber was photoshopped here. Y'all, I'm about to pause right His here. Hold on a second. So, y'all see this? You mean tell me. I can see the difference. First of all. They made him way more buff than what he actually looks like. And the biggest thing that I noticed is that his thing thing is bigger. Come on now. His neck is bulging massive. And they made his package like he's got like a 12 inch. <laughs> I just said that. You have to Photoshop a, a freaking cow hoof in your pants, bro. Somehow nobody has pores except me and you, right? I mean, my skin's messed up when you see it up close, but here's Justin Bieber. His face, he's got Ooh, like that don't even like the same okay person. pimples on your face. That's just the human condition. I don't know why God cursed us to have blackheads and pimples. And I mean, it seems pretty cruel to do that. I don't get it anywhere else in my body. Why is it that I have to get on my face, the most important place you get back my face to be clean? But everybody's got it. Oops. This is Harry Styles. I mean, the... Yeah, he's a young man. He's got pimples on his face. That's how it works. So the next time you see a greasy, pimply, black-headed face in the mirror, don't feel so bad because all these people you look at Instagram, our faces are just as messed up as yours, dude. Yeah, Instagram is like, <laughs> oh, oh my, bruh. This is why I love this. This is the same bruh. person on the same day wearing the same outfit. Whenever I see something... Now, 
she photoshopped the hell out of that damn picture because that does not even let the same person body it's not even like it's a bad angle like on the left she looks snatch snatch and on the right bruh and y'all wonder why people got trust issues like this i'm like listen you can fool the whole world but you can't fool yourself man the one on the left is in the vip area the one on the right is in the p area i don't know what that means one on the left looks like she's at coachella the one on the right looks like she's at no chella <laughs> and i'm not trying to shame her for that no chella totally fine she should embrace that but that is not you the one on the left is on the beach the one on the right that is not you up on the beach sorry again i'm not trying to shame anybody i'm just saying come on people let's Keep it real. Let's get a grip here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we all know Trisha Paytas is the queen is the of Photoshop. Of Instagram reality. Yes. That, Trisha, why do? You, why are you even a model if you're gonna modify your looks that much? It's like from beauty queen to WWF wrestler. <laughs> that don't even like the same. Oh, I swear. Remember that this girl tried to use a face filter on Instagram and her phone blew up. <laughs> all right. Let's pause. I feel like some of the pictures of Trisha, they are at a bad angle, but you can tell that she Instagram, I mean, photoshopped the hell out of them damn photos because like you see how her face looks so contoured and like the makeup is like flawless. Like, I mean, we all use filters. I mean, we, I use filters, but I don't Photoshop and edit to make my features look different. You know what I'm saying? Con let's continue. One of her. Ah, she is the best. Isn't she not the best? Would people even recognize her if they saw her on the street? I mean, she is unrecognizable. This is Coachella versus throwing down in the McDonald's parking lot at 3 a.m. <laughs> this is Coachella versus world star hip hop. <laughs> no! That Ooh, cannot child. be the same person. To Coachella is. versus open casket funeral. Oh, oh damn, Cannon's looking pretty good these days. Oh. See, this one not that extreme, but... I can't believe it's the same day. She looks like a Twinkie. This is what <laughs> TanaCon was promoted as and what TanaCon ended up actually being. Now that is natural beauty. Truly nothing wrong with this photograph at all. This is natural beauty at its Bruh. finest. Girls, remember. That's like when they... If your hand doesn't look like a question mark, then you are not beautiful. Kylie Jenner, here. That's the same person. Believe it or not. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about this. We all know, like, Kylie Jenner is the fucking Photoshop edit queen. Not only that, she's had an ass of plastic surgery. So even what she looks like without the filter is not what she looked like before. Like, it goes to show you, like, what they say. Sis, you ain't ugly. You just broke. For real. We can get you girl. It's nothing but plastic surgery, baby. All these Instagram, I won't say all, but a majority of these Instagram bitches is plastic. And I don't see nothing is wrong with plastic surgery. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. That is the same person. Unhypnotize yourself, if you would, please. And realize that this is the very same person. The same haircut, the same style. It's all there. What's the difference? NASA was working around the clock on the oh, show. He he and while we're on the dirty. topic of the Kardashians, I have to show you this. I know it's a fad for all these girls to have big asses, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with a big, beautiful, uh, you know, natural tuchus, as my mom says in Yiddish. Bug but bye. here, I want you to see what Bruh. these ass implants actually look like. I hope that the women... Okay. That shit looks ridiculous. Like, why didn't your doctor give you some hips or you put some some fat in the thighs? Like it looked like it looked like a box Chevy sitting on on sticks. I don't know, y'all, but it's it's like everybody wants a big butt, but it's like everybody is not meant to have a big butt. So. That shit right there just look crazy. Video feel better about their butts because there's nothing wrong with selling. Ain't nothing wrong with say that, baby. What Migos say? Nothing wrong with little say like. Pretending like cellulite doesn't exist. The truth is, we are all disgusting, 
nasty monsters with black heads and white heads and nasty dimpled asses. This is what it is. <laughs> We're all disgusting. He's funny. Oh, I, I curve space time. Big deal. You're not kidding anyone with that gravitational pull. Please, whatever. Hannah, what are you doing? Oh my God. This it's one so ain't horrible. Up. She just Hannah's snatched her waist a little young, bit. Young, impressionable audience that's going to look at this and really get messed up over it because it's it's just messed up to show yourself like a beautiful mermaid when in actuality you're more of a manatee she's been her time oh. grazing in the ocean not freaking hanging out on boats that's not her natural habitat and i'm sorry if that comes off as rude but i don't like what she's doing but that's not right i'm ugly and fat okay <laughs> oh, so this girl uh, apparently is known on Instagram for having like a Oh, who is fit, this? I can't know? remember her name. And my goodness, just looking at this, there's nothing. That's ridiculous, y'all. Actually breaks my heart, you know? Because I know plenty I of guys I think she's transgender. Look at that girl on the left and be like, <laughs> boom! You know what I mean? <laughs> We're guys. We put our dick in a meat grinder if it, you know, Damn right. had a chance of feeling good. Little known fact is that Jesus invented the Instagram filter, so... <laughs> there you have it. And this one specifically cracks me up because they went through the trouble of photoshopping out the lines on her hands. Like, is there nothing left that we can't not feel insecure about? <laughs> I don't think that building's up to code. Is that the Leaning Tower of Pisa or the Coliseum? Oh, wow. I'm not going to say anything about the First Lady because I respect the office. All I will say is in the words of her... Be best. And if being best means dedicating an entire wing of the NSA to Photoshop your pictures, then now that, that's so be, it. be best. I ain't going to lie. What did you even do? What am I even looking at? You poor woman. How is this better than the original? Oh, it looks like you have some degenerative disease. What have you done? Mamma me. That's a spicy meatball. Don't feel... I want you to look at this. And I feel, feel like better. it was nothing wrong with her on the left. left. Instagram, would you feel insecure? No. But we know the Kardashians are the queen the of plastic surgery and right Photoshop. Now to know that there's plenty of guys out there that would go dinner time. Niggas will <laughs> guys will mess you know, with anything. Meanwhile, you know what Chloe's thinking right now? She's going. Some of them. Can I Photoshop my soul? Okay, <laughs> okay. On this one exception, I will admit the cat on the right does look better. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Her freaking eyebrow is on her hat, dude. It's like an anime character. How do you even end up photoshopping your eyebrow through your hat? Dude, how's everybody just chilling at the pool and calm like this? Buildings are twisting and turning like Inception. Those asses are so fine, they actually have a gravitational pull. And finally, I would like <laughs> to show you guys the family that started it all before they discovered Instagram. <laughs> None of them Maybe look like that things. now. Take a That's why I say you ain't ugly, area. honey. You just broke. Family like millions you've seen. My, how they've changed. My, 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 how they sure have changed. All that plastic how surgery. Can I, how can I plastic silicone. Like this. I must have the worst skin. And the world is about to sink. Look, you can even see little uh, blackheads coming out of my skin. It's foul. Do you see that? It's disgusting. Hey guys, welcome today to my vlog. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna stop the video there, y'all. That was funny. It was entertaining. I feel like he made a lot of valid points. Like, um, I talked about this before, like in some of my in one of my mukbangs, I think, but. I feel like social media is great and horrible because I feel like everybody is living their best life. Everybody's posting, you know, like the great, the positive, like nobody's not posting negative shit. So you think like everybody living this great life, all these Instagram models always traveling and it's like everybody got problems. You know, a lot of them bitches got roommates and sleeping on air mattresses and shit. That's a whole nother video. But yeah, I feel like you cannot base your life or your features or your looks based on shit that you see on Instagram because a lot of that shit is fake. A lot of them bitches that had surgeries and had their body modified and you can't think that you realistically can look like that, like have a fucking five inch waist and a 40 inch ass, bitch. 
no it doesn't work like that the video is very funny um i want to do more reaction videos i don't know i really like that if you guys have any suggestions on things videos or whatever that you want me to react to just be sure to again follow me on instagram message me dm me let me know what you want me to react to let me know what kind of videos i want to see and until next time ashmara i will be back next week with another video